So it's morning of day one. Um, we got some possible weather moving in tomorrow. So even though we saw some antelope yesterday, we're gonna use this opportunity since we got a weather window to try to hit some parts of the unit that might get um, hit with this snow. We might lose access to. So we're going around the top side of the unit, the north end, and then work our way down this road that goes to the middle. So. We'll see what we see today, but uh, hoping to get one on the ground today before this weather moves in, Lord willing. So, we'll see what we can do. It's going to be a good day, though. See if we see anything. Saw a group back there just on private. About, I don't know, they're probably a mile from the truck, but got one more chunk of public here to check real quick before this road turns mainly private for a while. So we're gonna check this little knob and see if we can see anything. Get a final range if you need.
looking at us. Shoot again. I got her. You got her? Yeah. She's down? Yeah. Just about. Are down. you sure? Dude, I hit her. I hit her. She's down. You got it. <laughs> <laughs> you got it, dude. Dude, good shooting. Had to deal with a jammed gun. That was crazy. She's down, huh? She's down. Yeah, dude. She's down. <sighs> Wyoming antelope. All right, Chad just got his first western big game animal. We got out here and stayed put. Chad fought through a Gun weapon gun. malfunction. Stayed on her, stayed calm, made a great <laughs> shot. She's down right over here. Woo! Yeah, man. Good yeah, shooting, man. buddy. Good shooting. First full day. Wow. Guys, you did it. You got it. Yeah, one Fantastic. Down. Wow. Uh huh. <laughs> yeah. Ah. What? My it. goodness. Look at that. Yeah. Wow, man. congratulations. Yeah. Good job, Hunter. There you go. Good job, buddy. You made well, it possible. Uh huh. Well, as you can see, we got, let's say, about three, four inches of snow, something like that. Yep. Now we're headed out to check out some spots that look like we can access from main roads. Um, still thinking the back access roads are going to be a little tough with these rental vehicles we're in. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and check these spots out, and then hopefully by tomorrow, if we don't get one on the ground today, these back access roads will open up a little bit.
down, buddy. Oh my God, good spot, brother. All right, so we came out here. We saw these antelope about three quarters of a mile up this hill. And Cuz jumped out, booked it up here. We came up with a plan to kind of try to do a pincer move them, get around them. We're walking up here and Cuz says, oh, get down. A doe pops up right over here. She saw us, but there was a buck with him. He didn't see us. I was able to get down enough they couldn't see. Rip off my pack, crawl into position. I think it was about 200 yards. I didn't have time to range it. I just put it on the second mark and he dropped, man. Congrats, guys. man. See that cutter broke off? He's a nice buck, dude. It's a beautiful animal. Very nice. Mm. Good mass on him. Good hooks. Wow. Look at those hooks. Wow, dude. Great buck. Now I'm stoked. Great shot. You shot yours two days ago, right? Yep, because yesterday was the snowstorm. God is good, man. I was yours. having one of those anxiety moments this morning laying in bed, like, what am I doing out here? I've been on the road for like, I don't know, three, four weeks with my family at home this year. Am I an idiot? Am I gonna fill a tag? Woke up and had a little, really good little prayer time this morning. And felt better about myself. Because God's a good father. He definitely provides. Yep. God is good. Ready? Ooh, yeah. Feels good. Thanks for watching this film. I hope you guys enjoyed it. This was a public land Wyoming antelope hunt from last year. Uh, it was on a one-point unit in the special draw. And um, 
you know, is able to help my cousin and my uncle kind of fulfill a dream of theirs. It's sort of a bucket list thing for my uncle um, and my cousin, uh, Chad. And that was Chad's first Western big game animal ever. And it's also my first uh, antelope as well. So um, Wyoming is an amazing place. It's just so cool that we can go out and, uh, you know, on very low point draw units on public land, get out there and and fill tags on some some nice animals. So, you know, um, I don't want to, um, you know, sound like I'm making excuses here, um, but I do want to give you some context. As you saw, you know, there were some spots in the film that were a little rough. Um, you know, I even debated releasing this film at all um, just because of some of the audio issues. And as you saw with, you know, with my hunt, it was completely overexposed and blown out. Um, and, you know, I just, at the end of the day, I, you know, I, I just decided, you know, I'm just going to put this out because it was still a really fun hunt. You know, I, I put together a, a longer version just for my family, you know, just for us as memory. And, and then I cut it down. Um, and I thought, you know what, I think I should just air this, you know, it's better than nothing. I don't think it's, you know, if you, if you've been out there, if you've hunted before, you know how tough it is to fill tags on public land at all, much less trying to film it and, so, you know, it wasn't perfect, but, um, you know, I'm pretty still, like I said, pretty new. This is my, only my second time really trying to film a hunt and I've learned a lot since this trip, but, um, you know, you live and learn. So I figured it would be, uh, it would be good to put out anyway and I hope you guys enjoyed it. So, you know, when I was filming my cousin Chad shoot his, <laughs> you saw the weapon problems we were having there. I was literally holding one camera on the antelope and another camera on my cousin like this, trying to get both angles because I didn't bring my tripod out there. Um, uh, you know, as you saw, there was confusion on which animal he was shooting and then the gun jamming. And so, you know, I was just happy, honestly, to that we got the, the antelope and made a clean ethical kill on it. Um, and you know, the footage is what it was. I think it's, it's decent, you know? Um, and then, you know, you saw, uh, in my hunt, as it said in the film, you know, things happen really fast. We saw the antelope and literally it was game time. I jumped out, I grabbed my stuff and I literally just tossed the camera at Chad and I was like, all right, just shoot this man. And it's totally on me. He, you know, he has no experience with cameras. I should have checked. I didn't have the ND set right on my camera. So everything was just completely blown out. And, um, again, you know, like I said, I debated even releasing this at all, but I figured, uh, why not? You know, um, so I'm just going to be kind of humble and, you know, it's maybe it's a little bit below my standards that I'd like it to be, but, um, you know, I'm growing, I'm learning. And so I figured, you know, you guys might enjoy this film, might learn something from it anyway. And, you know, also there's some audio issues, uh, just a bad mic that I was using that just does not perform well in the wind. So, you know, I cleaned up the footage and stuff and the audio as best as I can. And I hope you guys do enjoy this film. Um, and, and just know that I'm always striving to do better and to um, capture my content in a more professional way. Um, you know, hunting is tough. Capturing is even tougher. Um, but that being said, um, you know, I hope you will see a progression upward in the quality. And I hope you enjoyed this one. But, um, you know, we had a great time as a family getting out there uh, on public land and just just having fun, you know. And, um, and uh, it's one of the most memorable hunts of my entire life. And that's why ultimately I decided to put together a film just because uh, it was so memorable. I just wanted to have it, even if I didn't release it just for the family to have. And, um, so anyway, guys, um, if you want to use any of my discount codes, um, you know, go hunt was huge, not only in planning this hunt, um, but also picking the unit, picking where to, where to apply and then, um, on the hunt as well, you know, um, so, I hope you guys will, um, if you need anything in the Go Hunt gear shop or you want to join Insider for the maps or, or I'm sorry, Insider for the planning and research or uh, get an Explorer membership for maps, um, use that code QUEST. You'll save 20% across the board on anything Go Hunt. Um, you know, also, uh, it's a great time to stock up on your backcountry foods for this year. Use the code QUEST at Heather's Choice. You'll save some money there. Um, and, uh, you know, I didn't pick it up. Uh, before I shot this film, but I'm running the initial ascent uh, pack, and that thing just performs amazingly with heavy weight. So if you want to pick up an initial ascent pack, same thing. Use that code Quest, save some money. And all those places, when you use that code, you'll be supporting the show. Uh, I'll get some other codes down in the description field. But anyway, guys, um, 
Uh, just let me know in the comments what you thought about this. If you're heading out for goats this year, uh, I'd love to hear about it. I'm going back out again on a uh, zero point, 100% draw unit. I'm kind of thinking maybe I'm crazy, but you know, I wanted to get out there and hunt again. And um, you know, I have faith we're going to make it happen. And even if we don't, you know, it's going to be a fun time anyway. So thanks for watching. Thanks for your support. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel. You know, like this video, share the video, um, share the podcast um, with friends and family. And, and we'll see you guys on the next one.